Hey everybody, it's Lisa Burningham and I am so glad that you're here with me. Now today I'm doing a really fun project. I'm gonna be showing you how to take an image, print it off onto wax paper and then transfer it onto wood. And then we're gonna take our burn tool and burn that image into our cutting board and into some spoons. Now this project is in collaboration with Mom Doss and her useful DIY challenge. Now this month I am co-hosting with her and it has a Valentine's theme. Now if you don't know who Mom Doss is, she has some really great projects and tutorials over at her channel. I will leave a link to her channel as well as a link to the playlist so you can see what all of the participants came up with. Now this project can be used not only for Valentine's, but it would be a great wedding present or anniversary present. And if this is the first time that you've been to my channel, then welcome because I do DIYs and home decor here. I post weekly videos and I would love to have you join me, so please subscribe. Now I was trying to think about a creative and unique gift idea and selfishly I thought, well, what would I want? And I love to cook, so a cutting board and some spoons would be great, especially by personalizing them, which is what we're going to do. Now I got these at Ross, they were only a couple of dollars and so it's really affordable. And you could get a larger cutting board if you wanted to, and you could use some other kind of utensils as long as it had a wooden handle or a wooden top. I found an image that I liked online and I cropped it to fit this particular cutting board. And then it was time to print it out. Now I have an inkjet printer, which is perfect for this wax transfer. I'm not sure if that's the only kind that you can use. You should probably look into it, but the inkjet really worked for me. So what I did was I got my wax paper that I cut out and I put it inside the printer where the paper is and I began to print. So let me tell you what happened. It was not a good situation. It got caught in the printer and I ended up with this. So long story short, I had to pull this out. <laughs> Plain wax paper in the printer does not work. So I had to come up with another solution. What I did was I got my paper and I cut the, another piece of wax paper. I put it over the top and then I taped it together. And then I put it back into the printer, making sure that the wax was down, so when it printed, the image would be printed onto the wax paper, and that worked wonders. So, learn from my mistake. Do not put plain wax paper into the printer. It will not end well. Now, once you have successfully printed off your image, you're gonna to wanna to transfer it fairly quickly before the ink dries. So I removed the wax paper from the printer paper and I put it ink side down onto the surface of my cutting board. And then I got a kitchen scraper and I rubbed it really hard against the top of the wax paper for about 30 seconds until the image was transferred. Now you could also use like a credit card or the back of the comb to transfer your image just to rub it really hard against the top of the wax paper, that would work too. And then it was time to lift up my wax paper and I was so happy and a little bit surprised that it transferred as well as it did, but it ended up to be a beautiful thing. Now I am going to use my burn tool to burn this image in a little bit further. However, if you don't have one, then that's okay because I think the image that's on there right now is really beautiful and it's subtle and you could just leave it plain and that would be a gorgeous solution as well. Next up are my spoons. Now the design that I chose for my spoons is an open heart with an arrow and I pretty much repeated the process that I did on my first cutting board. I got my wax paper, I cut it to size, I taped it on top of my printer paper and then I printed out my image. And then after I removed the wax paper from the printer paper, I cut out the heart, I placed it on the back side of the spoon and then I got my scraper and I scraped the image onto the back of the spoon and then I repeated the process with the
Now that my images have been transferred onto my wood pieces, it's time to use my burn tool. This is gonna help make the images deeper, darker, and full of character. Now I got this burn tool at Michael's for under $20, and you don't need a professional tool to do a piece like this. An affordable one will work just great. So what I did was I used my burn tool and I traced around the image and just followed the lines of the tree. The key is to make slow, even lines with the same amount of pressure. If you want deeper lines, just press in a little bit harder and a little bit longer and you will get those deeper, darker lines. The heart in the center of this tree is a perfect spot for me to customize my piece. Since my sweetheart's name is Ken, I'm gonna do L plus Ken. This is a great chance for you to customize your piece to fit your recipient's names. So I traced out the L plus K with a pencil and then I got my burn tool and I'm using the universal tip and then it was time to burn it for all eternity into the wood because any initials that are burned or carved into a tree, you know those will last forever, right? So I guess our love is going to last forever. Another thing that I really loved about this ink transfer was that there are subtle colors of green from the leaves. Now this makes it really easy to trace around and I like just a little bit of a hint of color in my design. Now that my cutting board is done, we're gonna move on to the spoons. Now I'm using a universal tip on my burn tool and I'm going to slowly and evenly trace around the heart and the arrow. Now another thing you could do to personalize this gift is that you could add initials of your own, you could put a date on there, or you could put a cute little love word. Now our gifts are finished and they were definitely worth a little trial and error to get the finished look. Now what I would do is wash it with hot soapy water and maybe seal it with some oil. And then after you've done that, feel free to get chopping. You can cut up your fruits and veggies and feel the love while you do it. Now I wanna thank Mom Doss again for letting me co-host this month and for all of the participants that are going to be putting their videos on this playlist. I can't wait to watch them all. I hope you enjoyed this wax transfer and wood burning tutorial. Hope you got some inspiration or some ideas so that you can make your own. Thank you so much for watching.